hey, there are spring flowering bulbs that need an honorable mention. Again, we're talking spring flowering bulbs. Why are we talking about that? Because you have to plant them now for them to flower in the spring. Okay. So, there are some of these bulbs that you recognize, and they just aren't Easter flowers. And first one is hyacinths. Great fragrance, good color, you know, basically whites, purples, and they sometimes call them blue, I have pinks. But it's got such a, a great fragrance that it's one of those things that I would suggest for you to grow, like by the front door, so that when people come up to the front door, or, look, what do I talk about? I talk about my trash cans all the time. Oh, yeah, I have these yes. by my trash cans. <laughs> I have these by my trash cans. You know, it's not that I spend my time at my trash can, but my trash cans are right near my garage. So when I pull up each night and I, and I get out of my car, I plant plants like hyacinths because I can smell the hyacinths when I get out of my car or I go into my car or I put up my trash or, you know, I do, I'm, I'm over there a lot. Like I never go in my front door. I mean, I mean you do, right? Do you go yeah, in front I do. Door? Yeah, that's because you're the way your house is set up. Yeah. That uh, where, I, you know, anybody going to my front door is the Amazon guy. You know, <laughs> that's the only, the only guy, guy goes to my front door <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't have to smell the hyacinths. <laughs> so, he has no time to. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, again, the hyacinths um, are, are a great plant. They're low. They're not, they're not going to get much higher than about a foot or so. Um, they look great. They're going to have to go through that, that vernalization. That by now, you know, you should all know that. Everybody repeat, repeat after me. Vernalization, okay, that, that is when you need a cold period in order for a plant to bloom, okay? So fool your friends. Tell your friends how smart you are because they need fertilization. Um, you need to wait uh, until the temperatures are below 60 degrees before you plant them. So we're talking about, you know, right about now, um, November, and... They prefer full sun, but again, those deciduous trees, if they have no leaves on them, it's going to pull them into bloom, and you're going to put them about six inches apart, and about, you know, a, a good rule of thumb, how deep do I plant my bulbs? And you just use this as formula, twice the depth of the bulb. So if it's a tulip bulb, it's like maybe a couple inches, so you're going to plant it a couple inches on top, so it's four inches down. Same thing with daffodils, same with all your bulbs. So twice the depth of the bulb. Uh, hyacinths, again, a great color, but the it's all about the fragrance. It's all about the fragrance and that they do fantastic. You can even plant them because, again, they're plants, not, not puppies. You can plant them and you can throw them out at the, in the spring season. Like, say you put them in your planters, like your spring planters or your summer planters, fall planters, all of those plants have gotten uh, hit by the frost. Uh, and what I would do is I would put uh, tulips, hyacinths, even crocus, and put put them in the ground, then plant pansies on top of them. And you'll have a great show in spring. So in March, all of a sudden, these things will all be coming alive Early. and looking great while everybody's twiddling their thumbs, wondering, it's like, one of the sun patients coming out, yeah. it's like, oh, you can't plant them until the middle May. of May. Uh, but these you can plant, and they'll be in flower in March, so you're going to be staggering them. Another honorable mention, and these are the pips. Crocus. Crocus. I always wondered, what was it? Pips? It was somebody, somebody in the pips. Come on, Holly, this is your time uh, period. Not Gladys Knight. It is Gladys. It is. It is. Gladys Knight in the pips? Yeah. There you go. He's so up on the uh, midnight train in Georgia. Ah, uh, hey, don't get me don't start think. I think Georgia by yeah, never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, crocus are one of the earliest flowering bulbs. Uh, they they can actually begin blooming in late winter. Uh, full sun, light shade, plants in November, three inches to four inches apart. Uh, and again, you can. If they become, like, they'll come back automatically. You don't have to worry about them necessarily becoming a problem uh, with 
you know, not flowering the next year or the year after that or year after that. These continually flower. But the one thing is, is if they get to be overclouded, you can divide the clumps and replant them, okay? And that, that will, you know, they'll end up coming up in other areas. So you're actually, you know, getting bonuses. Irises are, are another one that they're going to flower a little bit later. Um, and there are different varieties and colors of, of irises. I, I actually would rather plant an iris plant than plant an iris its fruit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's just because I, I know the plant and I can get probably a wider variety of the flowers because there's different types. Like there's your bearded iris and, and different types of iris. So I, I would probably buy the plant instead. You know. uh, ornamental onions, like those are those giant plants. You know, you always see the picture on the box. It's just yeah. like like blonde haired kid, yeah, with you know, little, reaching up to yeah, grab this gigantic, up. you know, yeah. basketball sized <laughs> yeah. purple flower. Um, that's what you would plant now. And again, they can be a, as much as eight inches across. So they're big. Yeah, big balls, they're yeah. big. And most of the time, they're in that that purpley blue color. And they can be four foot tall. Oh, yeah. Now, on the other extreme, snowdrops. Huh? Snowdrops. Yeah, like, I love snowdrops. Yeah. And and you know why they're, they're 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 cute, like almost like magical flowers that flower like the first thing to flower in the spring. And there's different varieties. Um, again, it, in, uh, here do I really want to get into botanical names? Not really. But uh, again, the botanical name is gala is from Greek for milk. Okay. Anthos is Greek for flower. So there you go. Yeah, a little Greek. Galanthus. Yeah. Okay, Galanthus Navalis is the botanical name. So again, it comes from the Greek for milk and flower. And it also the Latin would be snow, is snow covered. So it covers, it's great pure white flowers. Um, again, we are done pretty much with having snow on the ground where if we do get any snow, it melts very quick. And then here, these flowers are left that have some green leaves and a beautiful white hanging flower um, that the leaves don't come up later. They're actually, they, the flower comes up first and that is just basically a stalk with, with a, a perfectly pure white flower. And that it's just, uh, it kind of nods down to the ground. It, it's it's a beautiful plant, and then the, the leaves when they do come out, they're like a gray green. It's a great plant because it comes out so soon um, in the in the uh, the the spring. It's actually winter when it actually does bloom. And then we have grape hyacinths. Oh yeah, grape hyacinths. I have, and all of the bulbs that we're talking about right here, as opposed to doing mass plantings like you do of tulips and daffodils, these can be planted in little pockets that you know maybe a foot round or a foot. You know, you don't have to do them in, in big, massive. massive swaths throughout your yard. Um, I have grape hyacinths that are planted. Uh, again, it, it's next to my driveway because it reminds me of spring. It's yeah. like, why am I going to work? And it's like, oh, yeah, that's why. You know? <laughs> uh, grape hyacinths, they, you know, fragrant and that they're little tiny clusters of grape, uh, like purple, purple grapes, like miniature. Yeah, they're cute. They, they are. That's a good way of putting them. And that they become naturalized, like they'll do their they'll thing. Grow. You don't, I don't even pay attention. Man. It's like, I, no oh, to. that's right. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> you know? Come back every year. Yep, <laughs> reliably. About six inches tall. Um, and they're, most of them are a, a shade of blue and that they're just uh, a great plant. Again, that's grape hyacinths. Get out there, go to your local garden center, and I want you to get some bulbs and plant Thank them you. now. Yeah. Now, yeah. not, not in this, not spring. in the spring. You don't Whatever. plant them when you see the, you see them out. You plant them before, and you'll enjoy them in the spring.